championship match by a point last year. One night to one eight. Struggling to get the scores. They might get one here. That's a brilliant save. Brilliantly saved by Finbar McConnell as he denies the substitute Declan Bateson. Derry looking for a goal to save the game. The ball given in by Brian McGilligan and broken down by Seamus Derny. And Declan Bateson probably should have put it away, but uh, Finbar McConnell out very fast and on his boot and blocks it with his feet. Great save. Derry with the 45. That'll be worth seeing again in a moment, but first it's Anthony Tohill to curl it in. Again, it's to the back of the net, it's a goal! It's the equaliser! Tohill! An amazing goal by Anthony Tohill from the free kick. That's a goal and four points, his tally. Anthony Tohill, the ball coming in, Plunkett Donaghy across in front of his goalkeeper and blinded him and uh, missed it, and then it was too late for... Tohill uh, again, it's over the bar. A goal and five points now for Anthony Tohill. He'd been having such a quiet match, apart from the freeze, which were so influential. But now that may well decide the distance. And he snapped up another point a few minutes later. Damien McCusker, is there much time remaining, you wonder? Out as far as Brian McGilligan. Fergal McCusker didn't know too much about that one. Kept it going on to Joe Brawley. The Derrymen finishing strongly. Seamus Heaney again, or Dermot Heaney, I should say. Dermot Heaney. He's kicked it over the bar. What a time to get your first point of the match. No wonder the Derry supporters are in such joyous mood. Dermot Heaney makes it 110 to 18. It's been a gripping finale. It's all over, and Derry have won the National League for the second time. They bridge a gap of 45 years. 1947, they beat Clare. And 1992, they've come and they've beaten Tyrone by one goal and ten points. <laughs>